didi monso hwehwe serilak fofra ayon plus wo mu a ebo ama mo frenyi nintem nestle serilak big nutrition for small tummies This is Nestle Nutrition Line. Nestle Nutrition Line is a public service program from Nestle Ghana Limited. Nestle Nutrition Line offers tips on good food for a good life. Now to your presenter. Good morning. Here we are again from the sweet golden side of life. We bring you our very best because you're special and deserve to be treated like royalty. So that's what we're doing this morning, treating you like kings and queens. I hope you like the feeling. I'm Na Ajelesua and I welcome you warmly with arms open wide. Over the next few days, we're going to be discussing various types of dairy, starting with evaporated full cream milk, which is common on the market and typically sold in cans. The evaporated part of the name comes from the processing that milk goes through. When fresh milk is obtained from dairy farms, it contains a considerable amount of water. And to increase the shelf life, about 60% of the water is evaporated from it to make it evaporated milk. While an opened fresh milk can last two to four days, an opened evaporated milk can last for months. The full cream part of the name means that the milk contains all of the milk fat, which could be about 6%. Because of the milk fat, you should be mindful how much full cream you use in your diet since too much fat, including saturated fat, is not healthy for you. In terms of nutrients, evaporated full cream milk has calcium, vitamin D, protein and other important minerals that are important for health. This is where we part sweet company for the day. I hope you've learned something useful. I hope you'll apply it because you've only got the one body and you must take good care of it. Do you have any topics you wish to discuss on Nestle Nutrition Line or questions you would want addressed? Please feel free to contact and share your ideas and questions with us. Contact us on our toll-free number 800 one two triple zero one, which is free across all networks, or zero three zero two five one seven zero two zero. You can also send an email to consumer services at gh dot com. Now, as you go about your duties for the day, I'd like to remind you that there is hope. Always look on the bright side of life. And never give up. Have a great day. Bye. Ella blue bed no to co rim. A ye blue fe 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 no mu. Na okwe triton. Ani blue. Emre ye se no wo mo fresh mu. Enye mre ketwa. Se se yi. Ube tu mi de mre ashe wo ne didi emon so. Shushe serilak for fra. Ayon plus. Wo mwa. E bwa ma mo fre nyin intem. Nestle serilak. Big nutrition for small tummies. Fourteen minutes past seven on the Super Morning Show on Joy ninety nine point seven FM, and it's time for the Joy Sports Centre, brought to you by MTN. Welcome to the New World Standard Chartered Bank. Here for good, F Pack blows your pain away, and Multi TV just thrills. MTN Momo transactions have become the best way to carry out financial transactions in Ghana today. To keep all your transactions safe and secure, always ensure that you only approve transactions you initiated yourself. MTN or any employee of MTN will never initiate any transaction on your behalf or call you to take you through a transaction process on your MTN Momo wallet. Always verify your transactional message and check your balance before you take any action. Remember not to share your MTN Momo pin under any circumstance. It's your secret. If you are in doubt, call 100 or visit any MTN service center for assistance. You can also send information of any fraudulent activity on your mobile money transactions by emailing 
mmfraud.gh at mtn.com or send text to 1515 everywhere you go. Now, with the Standard Chartered Visa Credit Card, you participate in the best rewards program in Africa and get to redeem from the most comprehensive catalog. What's more, the Standard Chartered Visa Infinite Credit Card provides you exclusive privileges and benefits like never before. Free access to airport lounges across the world with Lounge Key for you and a partner. Enjoy comprehensive chat. Uh, comprehensive travel insurance up to 2.5 million US dollars on worldwide emergency services. So what are you waiting for? Apply now for the Standard Chartered Visa credit card today. Call our client care center toll free on 0800 740 100 on all networks or visit any of our branches for details. Standard Chartered Bank here for good and with one Ibrahim Asante is here right now good and morning today, everyone. yeah good morning um daniel today is um, june 5 and we're building up to the world cup in russia so nine days to come your way don't forget the hashtag is what joy joy world, world cup. cup that's where we'll be telling you all the news the build up already on but today let me wish uh, a member of the joy sports team ns boam on a tv producer happy birthday and um, today happens to be you know a special day in his life we wish him all the best and we hope he he'll be with us for a very a long time. A lot of amazing people celebrating their birthday today. Uh, in June. Yeah, yeah, even today, you know, today, Samuel Dami, uh, Miss Mo, oh, okay. and now NS Buama. NS produces sports, uh, sports today. today, you know, and the and rest the football of um, show. Yeah, the bulletins uh, as well. There's more to talk about um, this morning on the World Cup. So many news coming in. We are confused, the football community. But the big story from yesterday, and we're still feeding on that one. Jair Touré's interview with France Football Magazine accusing his coach or former coach Pep Guardiola as having problems with Africans. We'll be telling you more about that one. But Daniel, there's also a build-up to the Blast Stars game on Thursday. You know, the, the demon name for Iceland is um, Icelandic, right? Yeah. So what about Finland? Finlandic? Oh, Finnish. No, Finnish. England? <laughs> English. English. So, so why did they give Iceland uh, Icelandic? Why well, wanted to say Isis? <laughs> <laughs> English sometimes is crazy. <laughs> Trust me. You know, I don't see why we should call somebody from Iceland Icelandic, but for Finland, Finnish, Finnish. and then England, English. <laughs> oh, <mom. laughs> anyway, but hey, you know, you know about Embora um, Milutinovic? He's a coach and he's from Serbia. He holds the record of getting national teams, as many as five, to the knockout stages of the World Cup. That's um, five times he's done that. And he handled the Super Eagles of Nigeria at the 1998 World Cup in France. And once said, an African team, he's one of many to have said that, that an African team capable or having the wherewithal to win the tournament. But so far, no team from the continent has been able to reach the semi-final stage, which is the medal zone. Africa's representatives for this year's tournament in Russia are Morocco, Tunisia, Senegal, Nigeria, and Egypt. Now, Black Stars made for the Imana Dajmaibedu, who played at the last World Cup in Brazil, and won themed for scoring the winning penalty in 2009 to hand Ghana and Africa her first FIFA Under-20 World Cup. He thinks none of the five African representatives, you know, have what it takes to break the jinx. He spoke on the Joy Sports link with Nathaniel Arthur last week. Yes. It's it's always difficult because um, that that level level is very difficult and you meet so many quality teams, so many quality players, which always is difficult for Africa. But soon, sooner than sooner, one of the African uh, countries will get to the semi finals. No, but we keep saying soon, soon, and we but don't. I don't think really. this one. None. You, you don't think any African no. can? Why? Uh, maybe Morocco can go after from the group stages. Maybe Senegal can, but for semis, I'm sorry, I need to speak the truth. Why? We need Why? To do a lot. The, the, the quality and the, and how, sorry, how the the, the tournament is is is, is always is, you need to prepare very well. You need to be hundred percent on top of everything. You need to be more concentrated, and if you make a bit of mistake you will be punished so looking at all the teams morocco can go from the group stages maybe senegal can do that but for semis for us at now i don't think 
none of the African countries can go to semi. You know, is this the hard um, th um, truth there from Ajman Bedou, or is he just um, quote unquote jealous of um, the African representatives at this year's World Cup? We'll wait to see. But judging from what we saw on Nigeria versus England in the friendly on Saturday, I think we might. But the tournament um, level, the ambience, everything different, exactly. how players react at the tournament itself, you know, we can see changes from the African representatives. But we'll then still again, be this is eye. someone who is who has the experience of playing in the tournament yeah, but and he it, knows what you know, it means. If it's about experience, people, you know, talk a lot about who's go, who was going to win the elections and it never came to pass. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> experience is nothing unless it happens. You know, you know more to come from Emmanuel Ajman Bedou, but um, in some World Cup related news as well, the football community like i said shocked you know and struggling to understand how manchester city winger leroy sunny missed out of germany's final 23 months squad for the showpiece now sunny who won the pfa young player of the year award after helping city to secure the premier league title missed out to julian grant of Bayern leverkusen now for germany's squad we've got goalkeepers um mark andre testegen from barcelona also manuel noe who's who hasn't played football this season got in there and then kevin trapp from paris saint germain made it defenders matamos jerome boatin and um, kimish yeah and, and and the suspects matthias Genta, antonio rudiger all made it the midfielders solid midfield team coming in from germany sami kedira mesut ozo draxler tony Cruz, Rose, Marco Ruiz, and then Gunduan from Manchester City, as well as um, Sebastian Rudi from Bayern Munich, and then Mario um, Gomez, the forwards, and then Timo Verma from Leipzig all made it uh, into the squad. Talking about World Cup scores um, coming in, and Belgium decided to name their squad, also leaving out um, Benteke, Christian Benteke, who played last season with um, Crystal Palace there. The manager for Belgium national team, Roberto Martinez, has been explaining why he decided to overlook Benteke. The decision of Christian Benteke, and I told him, um, I think he's, he's done everything that he, he could have done in the camp. He's been an impressive figure. I think the performance that he, that he, he showed against Portugal shows you that he's in a good moment. And that's been the toughest decision from a football point of view. The decision is for the balance of the squad, and we want to take two number nines uh, just because of what we're going to need in terms of the of the shape and the balance of the of the squad. You heard um, Roberto Martinez, one of the finest coaches, explaining that he dropped him because of unbalance. You know, you always struggle to understand coaches, right? But a player who is very prone to injuries made it to the squad, um, um, to the final squad. I'm talking about Manchester City captain, and um, that's um, Vincent and Company. He always needs him to be part of the company. So Company <laughs> made it. Martinez again. He explains why he decided to pick the centre back. We're going to try to use the rules um, in our advantage. We need to make the final outfield players squad 24 hours before Panama. That's the 17th of uh, June. So until then, we're going to try to give the, the maximum time for, to see what the reaction is with Vinny. I think in any player, maybe a scan would reveal what the extent of the problem is. With Vinny Company, we've spoken very closely with Manchester City. And the experience over the last few years is that uh, Vinny's reaction to certain soft tissue injuries, they cannot uh, describe via scan. You need to wait a period of seven, eight days, and then you get a, a good opportunity to make a good diagnosis. So the, the approach is very easy. You heard uh, manager for Belgium there, Roberto Martinez. We often said France was um, the United Nations coming in with um, all sort of um, you know countries representatives um, playing for the European country, right? Check out uh, France as well. There's Michi Bachuai, there's Yannick Carrasco coming in. Adnai Januzai is also in there, and then Romelu Lukaku is also coming in from. Um, he's from um, um, Dio Congo Extraction, and he made it in the team. Ha. Huh. So, <laughs> but the two brothers will be there. Um, the Hazard brothers, Eden okay. and then um, Togan, will be in there. Kevin De Bruyne is also in there. Marwan Falieni is in there. So, Belgium also becoming United Nations, you know, part two, <laughs> you know, for, for the World Cup. We'll wait to see how they offer, but some news also on World Cup related matters. And Russia police have detained two baggage handlers at a Moscow airport on suspicion of taking cash worth $100,000 from former Arsenal footballer. 
in Wako Kanu. Um, so he's um, checking luggage as he flew from London to the World Cup host country. He reported the missing money when he arrived at his hotel and discovered it was not in the luggage. It's not, it, it was not immediately clear why he was carrying that amount, but police said they had detained the two men who handled the checking luggage for a flight from London to Moscow. And aside the World Cup, Joy Sports will be monitoring the transfer market to see um, which Ghanaian players will be making moves. It looks like Emmanuel Ajmebedu will be looking to um, ending ties with Italian side Udinese after spending last season on loan at Buza Sport. This is the first time Abedou was playing a for a different club since moving to Europe to join Udinese. He's been talking about his first season in Turkey. I think it's, it's a very great experience when I went there because um, there's perceptions out there that uh, Turkish league is not a good league mm. and people go there because of money and stuff like that. Okay, it's a business. Football is business. So obviously the money side we have to add it up, but I think the supporters are cra that they are crazy for 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 football, because the team I went to Busa Sport, uh, yeah. one of the top five teams, yeah. and the supporters are amazing. I see. Every time the stadiums are full, mm -hmm. and they support the team wherever you go, the league is really competitive. Like how I saw it outside, it wasn't like that. And before going there, you know, I spoke to a lot of players like Jeria Kamen Kong, the Adebayos, or Nazis from Nigeria, John Boy. So they told me to tie it up because it's a really tough league. And I really enjoyed myself there. Emmanuel Ajmabedu, yes, Turkish fans, very, very passionate there. Um, I, I don't know why players, you know, still do not like to play in Turkey, but it looks like um, there's a trend, the trend is changing now. More players would like to go there. But let's um, try to bring you that news on Yaratria, where he launched a very, very um, severe attack on Pep Guardiola, accusing him of, of having problems with Africans everywhere he goes. Now, the interview he granted France Football, and this um, the quotes, um, Daniel, um, he said he, Guardiola, insists he has no problems with black players because he's too intelligent to be cut out. But when you realize that he has problems with Africans wherever he goes, I ask my, myself questions. He will never admit it, but the day he would line up a team in which we find five Africans not naturalized, I promise I will send him a cake. And from the um, French Open Championship, Serena Williams decided to pull out of her clash with Maria Sharapova and she complained of a pelvic injury. Yeah, I'm beyond disappointed. You know, I, I gave up so much from time with my daughter to time with my my family and I put everything on the court, you know, and um, all for this this moment. And um, so it's it's really difficult to be in this situation. But um, I always, for now in my life, I just try to always think positive and just think of the you know I like the America picture and the hopefully the. I always think positive, you know. <laughs> That's Serena. Even when she's not playing, she's elegant. You know, Serena Williams will end the Joy Sports Center for the morning. Great. Thank you so much, Ridwan Ibrahim Asante. Let me wish a happy birthday to James Mesa of Merton International School. You tend